What is going on guys? Today we're going to be talking about something super interesting because as to be expected of me I don't know how this is something that's become expected of me, but I have said something controversial apparently Even like a gorilla in our world wouldn't be able to kill wouldn't even I think get close to killing a lion I mean what what could a gorilla do to a lion? At the time of me saying this, I didn't think that it was a particularly controversial statement. I thought that anyone would agree with me. But it turns out that not just did a lot of people in my comments take that as like the most important part of the video. No one even really cared about my Dr. Stone episode 1 and 2 review, which, okay, fair. But everyone was freaking out about that, so that was cool. And then... I go into my Discord, and I look through the Verse Discussion channel, which, by the way, if you're not in my Discord, I highly recommend that you get in there. But, I go through there, and I see people first making fun of me for saying that a lion would kill a gorilla, and then it started this whole debate. So, I thought, well, I mean, I guess I should probably talk about this. I would also like to mention before we start this that I am by no means whatsoever an expert on lions, gorillas, or really any animals. And I'm not even really an expert in One Piece. I, people seem to think that I'm supposed to be, but I'm really not. And I do versus battles like this all the time. So just keep in mind that I'm just doing this for fun and I'm not really getting into the science. I'm just telling you how I see it. Okay, so the first big thing I hear in defense of gorillas is that they are far more powerful than a lion, so if they got a few good punches in, they could probably take down the lion quite easily, which I don't really see as being correct. I'm sure they are stronger overall, and they definitely could do better at, like, lifting weights or something, but lions are significantly heavier than them. Gorillas are an average of like 320-ish pounds according to Wikipedia here, and lions are like 430-ish. So that's a pretty good difference, and it's not like they're just lard asses or something. Unless we're talking about a disgusting piece of shit for a house cat like the one I have in my house, then we're going to be thinking here, I think most of the time at least, that cats aren't really very fat in general. I mean, they're kind of known for being quick on their feet and in battle they move back and forth really fast. It's like, okay, so I'm assuming they're putting their weight to pretty good use, at least as far as the strength goes. So I think that even if gorillas are a little bit stronger, I don't really think it's by enough that it would be a significant advantage for them. And like I was just getting at, I think generally speaking, cats are much quicker and have better combat prowess than a gorilla would. I mean, gorillas are pretty fat guys. Like, seriously, they are round to say the least. Where you can see a cat, I mean, just look at a house cat even, one that's not disgusting and fat. They just move around real quick, they're prowling in the grass and they just pounce on something. Like, they're quick and bad. They seem like they would be better in combat. And strength is really all that the gorillas would have on the cat in the first place, if that even is a thing. I mean, cats have ridiculously sharp teeth and powerful jaws, as well as insanely monstrous claws. I mean, when I'm playing with my cat and he's biting and clawing me, that kind of hurts. And sometimes I'm actually bleeding a little bit. And that is a little tiny ass cat that's playing with me. But we're talking about a, the king of the jungle, which is a really weird title since lions don't actually come from the jungle, but the king of the jungle, these claws and these teeth are going to be insanely powerful. What does the gorilla have? I mean, I guess they don't have teeth as weak as ours, but it's still nothing in comparison. They're going to be punching the lion versus the lion just clawing them apart. You know what? Here, take, take, take a look at this guy. Here, take a look at this. This is a silverback gorilla that can be found in the southern portion of Stranglethorn Vale. Not just do its basic attacks hit for less and slower than most other pets, but its primary special ability that it has is Thunder Stomp, which is an area of effect ability that does not do much damage per person hit. However, it does generate a lot of aggro, right? On top of that, compared to other pets, the gorilla generally has a lot more health and defensive stats. So, because of that, because of its ability to maintain aggro on multiple targets at once and take a lot of damage, 
it makes for an excellent tanking pet. On the contrary, we have big cats, more specifically lions, that not just do more damage per basic attack and basic attacks attack faster, but also their primary special ability is rake, which is a dot if it lands, right? So it's damage over time. That means that you're going to do more damage to a single target. So you have higher DPS, right? That means you are much better in a 1v1 situation. If you want to go against multiple opponents, well, you might want to take a gorilla to the fight. If you want to go 1v1, you're definitely going to want to take a big cat. I mean, I mean, just look at the talent tree for gorillas, right? Okay, increases your stamina, increases your overall health. This is a taunt-based ability. Taunt, taunt. This increases your defensive stance. This increases your overall health. I mean, this is this is very clearly a tanking spec. And then here we have the kitties tree. Okay, look at this. Look at it. This increases your overall damage, increases overall damage, increases overall damage. It's all about the DPS, boys. Okay, and then this this ability right here. Do you know what this does? This allows your pet to be revived after being killed in combat. So if by some incredible miracle, he actually loses to the gorilla, he just comes back to life. I, I mean, uh, guys, are you, are you even getting this? I think in light of all this information, it's pretty clear that a lion would whoop a gorilla's ass, but I don't, maybe I'm insane. Hopefully somebody is watching this video who is like an expert in this kind of thing. I don't know how that's even possible. I don't know what you could possibly be expert in that would give you some kind of knowledge on this specific situation. But I would, I would love to hear from someone like that. Basically, if there's anything I want you to take away from this video, it's that everyone can have their opinions on this kind of thing, whether you think that the lion is going to beat the gorilla or the gorilla is going to beat the lion. All that really matters is that if you think the gorilla beats the lion, you're a fucking pussy. With that all being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you on Friday.